Today we are going to talk all about the princess promotion packages that Princess Cruises is selling. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Wednesday, it is July 17th of 2024, and I wanna start at the top and give you a little bit of history and overview, and then some more details about these Princess Promotion packages. Now, when these very first came out, at first, honestly, no kidding, I was worried if they were a scam. We were having a lot of people reporting that they were receiving phone calls with solicitors trying to sell them these packages. And when you went to the website, princesspromotions.com, it was um, not really um, put together really well, so you could think maybe someone is intending to deceive here. So now, fast forward a little bit. Um, we have learned, of course, that for sure the Princess Promotion packages are a real thing, and that's been, we've known that for a while. The very first time, and I've talked to you about them several times here, uh, the very first time that I saw them myself in person for sale on a Princess Cruise was last September when I went on the Emerald Princess to New England. You know how when you go to the future cruise office there, on some of the ships, not all of them, they'll have like the TV screens up on the wall there, and um, they put, you know, pictures of cruises you might want to take. They also had information up about some of the different princess prom uh, promotion packages. And so you can buy them on the ship, you can call and buy them, and you can have your travel advisor buy them for you. And so let me give you a little bit of the overview on how they work. So first of all, in the package, and there are different ones at different prices, so in the packages, there is a component that is a future cruise credit. That future cruise credit has to be used and booked, the whole package, I believe, but definitely the future cruise credit has to be used and you have to book the cruise that you're going to use it on within 18 months of the day that you purchase that package. And then you actually have to sail on that cruise within 24 months from purchasing that package. And so if you book one cruise, and I've had this happen to people, if you book one cruise with your package, future cruise credits, and for any reason you can't go, you better figure out something to go on so that you don't lose your future cruise credits. Because if you don't book within 18 months and you don't sell within 24 months of purchasing that package you lose your future cruise credits another component that comes with it is you can get up to and up to is so so important sixteen hundred dollars of onboard credit in your package and then there are also hotel stays that go along with each package and it varies by how much you're paying for your package okay and so um, originally when people were talking to me about these packages a lot of people had a hard time booking the hotels that they wanted to stay either they weren't available in the area that they wanted to stay in a lot of people have said they're really not at a savings when you really look at what you could book it for on your own. And so um, I'm just putting that out there. Um, I'd love to hear from people in the comments. I've gotten so many emails from people, as well as some clients I've worked with who would not buy another one. And then every um, two times now, I've heard from people who thought they were great. And so I'm really not trying to dissuade you from buying one, and I'm not trying to encourage you to buy one. What I'm trying to do is tell you how they work so that then when you make a choice, you make an educated choice about whether or not you should book it. And now when you think of the size of the packages, uh, oh, and first of all, this is available to um, residents of the United States and Canada, okay? And so um, to begin with, the packages that Princess currently sells will contain up from $3,000 up to $12,000 in future cruise credits. And so you just look at which package has what you want, and then uh, you buy the one that you want if you want to do this, okay? I personally don't look at future cruise credits as an investment mode for for me and I prefer to book my own hotels and so I don't think this is for me it doesn't mean it's not for you but it just means think of what works for you so that you're happy with what you get now one of the examples I want to share with you is there's a package that costs seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars so let me tell you what you get as part of that package. So for um, buying virtually $8,000, you get $6,000 of future cruise credits. You get $300 of onboard credit to use however you want. And then they say that the hotel stays they give you are valued at $6,000. And so let me tell you, you get a five-night premium land stay. So at a hotel, you get to stay there for free. You also get one two-night stay at a hotel and $2,000 in hotel 
hotel credits. And so um, I would say the hard thing for me is there is really nowhere that you can go look at the hotels and the pricing and what you get to save before you buy a package. Uh, once you buy a package, then you're gonna find that out. And so I wish that they would have it so that you could really look at what's included and then make a choice if this is something that you want to use. Um, coming soon, like by the end of July, they are going to introduce an ultimate package, which costs $14,999. And with that one, you're going to get $12,000 of future cruise credits. You're going to get that $600 of onboard credit and some, um, let's see, let me tell you about the hotels. You're going to get two of the premium five night land stays at hotel and two of the two night hotel stays included as well. A really big deal about it though for the ultimate package is for the 18 months uh, that since from when you buy that cruise for 18 months you're going to get to have elite benefits. And so if you buy this package and you book a cruise and you've got a couple of other cruises in between, you get to have elite benefits when you're on board your ship. Um, I really think that Princess is um, using their loyalty right now as something for many. It doesn't cost them anything to add loyalty benefits. They know people like elite status and so they're making it part of that package. We see that loyalty is for sale right now with the promo that they've got uh, going from August 1st through December 1st. And so if you are someone that really, really, really loves the elite status and you don't have it yet, um, that is what they're trying to pull you in with on this booking. But really, I think it is so important to keep in mind that those future cruise credits expire. And if they, and if you don't use them, if you don't them within 18 months and sell within 24 um, game over you've lost your money and so when you look at these I would love and so in the comments tell us if you have booked it tell us where you stayed what hotels you stayed at where they were and um, like how much you saved that would really help a lot of people who are thinking of getting those because there are hotels clearly all over the world where people travel but it would be really fun to hear specifically which hotels in uh, which places are available and all of this now the other component that goes with that ultimate package is you're going to have a login to a marketplace and you can go shopping there and depending on what you buy, it depends on the item, but you can get up to, and this is really important once again, the up to 25% of your purchase price as a future cruise credit for the future during the lifetime of your ultimate package. And so there's a lot of ways to earn future cruise credits with that. Um, and I don't know who that marketplace is through. So if any of you know, um, I know that when they first announced the packages, they had the marketplace thing they were talking about. So if anyone has had any experience with that, we would just love to hear from you. So I'm going to see what else I can find out about it. And I'm hoping to get a page with um, some more information and talk to them when I'm on board the Discovery Princess uh, starting on the 27th of July. But I would just love, and like I said, I am not trying to say buy one, and I'm not trying to say don't buy one. I'm just trying to help us all navigate what's in them, and is it really worth it, so that the people that it would be worth it for would buy, and the people that it's not would know not to. I sure appreciate you sharing your experience in the comments and thank you for coming. I'll see you here again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, will you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button? We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers just as fast as we can and would love to have you with us. And if you appreciate my updates, will you also please give this video a thumbs up? Thank you so very much. And I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you and God bless America. Love you lots. Bye-bye. <laughs>